Hey guys, Mike Toy, Bonsai Boise. So this is my Dwarf Alberta Spruce Bonsai. I got this Christmas of 2019. Just on clear, actually it was after Christmas, so it was on clearance, they were getting rid of them. And um, today I'm gonna do a little bit of a trim on some of this, because as you can see, it's, it's grown out, kind of a bush style now. It's died off in some places and very green in other places. So we're gonna dive in, take a look at that, do some trimming, maybe add some more guy wires on some of these branches to bring a few of them down a little bit more. And uh, we'll do a close up and see what's working and what's not. So follow me and let's get in there. All right, so I'm back. So here it is. So long story short on this, I, I did a video when I first put this together in December of, it was either December or January of 2019. I got it for, I want to say five or 10 bucks at a big box store. They were just getting rid of them. And um, it's been doing great ever since. Um, I first put it into just another smaller training pot and then quickly realized that was a stupid idea. And I put it in the bonsai pot because, you know, what's what was the point otherwise? And um, trimmed a lot of it at the time. I must have trimmed 60% of it off or more. I'm sort of guessing it's been a year and a half. It's now August of 2021. But it's been doing great. Um, this summer, I haven't, I wouldn't say I've neglected it, but I just, I've just been letting it go unchecked. I haven't trimmed it at all. It's the only thing I've done with it is I moved it at one point from, it was in full sun and we had a heat streak, heat streak here uh, where it was in the triple digits for a good three weeks solid, which is a little unusual for us. So even though it was getting enough water, it was just too much sun. It was starting to burn and die off. So I moved it into a, a little bit lesser sunny spot and um and it started to bounce back and you can see some real bright green growth here so one thing i will say right off the bat with this guy is that it's got a lot of new growth in all the wrong places it's sort of uh it, it's like in its rebellious teenage phase where it just does the opposite of what i want it to do so where i want it to have some growth it doesn't have growth where I wouldn't want growth, that's exactly where it's happening. So example here, got a couple of branches coming right off of the, where another branch is, same on the other side, same story down here, same, you know, it, it's just kind of like that all throughout. It's not all bad, but you know, I'd say it's um, growth in all the wrong places. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. First, I'll, we'll trim it up a little bit. We'll get rid of some of the, the growth in the wrong spots trim back some of this dead stuff and then um, I'm gonna take a look at some of these guy wires that are on there I've got one two three four right now take a look at those make sure they're doing okay and I can already see a couple of spots where we're gonna want to add some guy wires so rather than rewiring it like the way you would wire a branch it cut into this big time last time I did that so I'm just gonna stick with the guy wire method so let's hop in and get to trim it all right, here's kind of a close up. So one thing I'll point out, you can see on here, hopefully you can see that, you can see a difference in the soil there where there's, it's kind of like level right along this way. On here, and here, and this is kind of a different level and different look and everything. So this is some of the original root ball. I didn't, I don't know a lot about these and I, knew even less then so i didn't want to get too crazy with it and uh you know bare root it or anything like that in fact what i do know about conifers is that you don't want to bare root them so so i didn't i'm glad i didn't because it probably would have died that explains that so like i mentioned earlier i um had wired up oop, sorry camera's a little wobbly there i'm messing with it too much i had I had wired up some of these branches initially just with, you know, regular, I forget what gauge it was, just wire. And it didn't take long for it to start 
cutting into the branch everywhere that I did it. So um, if I can find a good example, then I'll show you. But for that reason, I stopped wiring it because I don't usually wire branches anyways. If I do any of that, it's usually with guy wires. And this was just kind of a sort of strengthened my position on that because guy wires are just a little safer to use. They don't eat into branches as much, especially if you use the rubber coated kind like that. Um, you can see a big difference in taper here too. So sort of gradual and then right here, it's a big, big noticeable difference. Yeah, you know, skinnier, obviously. At the time when I put this together and chopped it all up initially, I want to say it was almost like a twin trunk coming off of here, or at least it was a big, thick branch, which uh, contributed to the thickness. And then when it was gone, you know, it just got skinnier. So you can see as it goes up and you'll see it even better here in a minute, any spot where there's a lot of growth, there's a bulge in the trunk. So here I'll trim this spot. So you can see what I mean, because this was definitely a spot of growth that I didn't want anyway. So it's not hurting anything. There we go. So there you can see where there's a lot of growth coming out of one spot, there's a big bulge. There's some growth on the back end. There's still growth, even on the other side, you can see there's still growth coming out of there. Since I'm looking at it, I'll just go ahead and take care of it. And over here, don't want that. And I see some hiding over here too. So you can see firsthand what happens when you get a lot of growth coming out of one spot. It gets a big bulge there. And also now that I cleaned that up right here, is an example of where it cut into the branch. So I had that wired initially, and that's where that's at least one spot where it cut into the branch. It takes a long time for that to heal. All right, so I got a little tray here to catch some of the stuff. I'll tell you one thing I really don't like about this tree <laughs> is these tiny little needles. When when they die, they're like the most stabby little things you could imagine. And there's just a billion of them. So you're inevitably, you're gonna end up dropping some, no matter how careful you are. And uh, you'll find it, don't worry, you'll find it. But you'll find it at the wrong time. Right when you least expect it, walking around barefoot and then boom. Okay, so. What I'm looking for here is a couple things. Looking for growth in the wrong place and looking for growth going the wrong direction. So as far as growth going the wrong direction, an example would be this guy here. I ask myself, oh, yeah, I do. I'm gonna get rid of the whole thing. Um, this guy down here. Stuff like that. Down here, we've got some branches going the wrong way. Branches in the wrong place. I'm going to call it in the elbow of the branch. Anything growing in the elbow of a branch needs to go. Because it's not ever going to contribute uh, in a positive way, obviously. It's just going to create bulges like that. And two, it's not ever going to really contribute to the overall design of the tree. There's no scenario where that's ever going to work. So may as well get rid of it. I don't know if you can see these needles falling off as I'm doing that, but it, they just rain down. So I got to thoroughly sweep up after this. We get rid of some of this dead stuff here. Try to minimize the raining of uh, assassin needles. <laughs> I don't think that's the scientific name for it, but that's what they feel like. Little assassin needles. Got some branches going straight down here. 
Um, I will say, somebody asked me once and made me aware of this. But they said, you don't really go in any pattern. You're sort of all over the place when you're making cuts. And I will say that I have many times tried to follow a pattern, you know, start at the bottom, work your way up or start at the top, work your way down. I'm, I've heard different people do different things. I'm just kind of all over the place, no matter how much I try. And I realized I just enjoy it better that way. And that's what this is really about. Just enjoying it. it should be a pleasurable experience. So I'm gonna keep doing it, but that doesn't mean you have to. In fact, I would advise having a system of some kind. <laughs> My system or lack thereof actually probably slows me down in the long run and confuses things more than anything. But I can live with those consequences. There's a lot of places here where I could maybe should do some trimming, but in some spots, I'm just gonna hold off a little bit to see how much I need to take off in other areas. And then, see, I'm also thinking ahead a little bit on where else am I gonna have to wire some, I'm gonna have to use some guide wire here to sort of pull this down that way, pull it away from this branch. So that being said, I can tell you this guy over here is gonna have to go. Thinking ahead, as that one's pulled that way, some of these other branches are out of the way, some are in the way. I'll get rid of a few of the redundant ones that are all bunched up. Okay, we'll revisit that. I think this one here that's coming We'll give that this part of the branch a try. We'll just get rid of this part. Get this going down. All right, let me clean up some of these needles. Maybe it'll uh, be better if I clean it as I go. Be right back. Okay. Um, I will say this branch back here, I've considered in the past and I'm considering again today just losing this branch altogether but I'm not going to um, but I, I'll explain my reasoning so you see how like we talked about earlier with the taper coming up got a lot of growth coming out of this spot and if I lose this one thick branch it won't fix this but it will at least stop contributing to it um, as I'm looking, there's a little bit of growth there. Let's just lose that while we're looking at it. But instead, what I'm going to do is just take this back a lot. Because if I did lose it completely, it kind of leaves a big bare spot back there. So as this is pulled down that way, it's just a little too bare. What I'm really wanting to happen is I want some new growth to happen right there at that spot. So I'm gonna do a couple of things. This has worked on other species of trees before. I'm gonna, when I get this cleaned up, I'm gonna just poke a little hole right there. Because for whatever reason, trees love to sprout new growth at spots where it's cut, at injury spots, let's call it. I don't know if it'll work on this one or not. We're gonna try it. So let's clean this up here first. And then we'll just poke just a real small little small nick of a cut right there. Uh, let's see, how far back do we want to take this guy? Let's see. If we look at from back here and we pull it down some, which we'll do. This will be the leader of this new branch, not of the tree, just the branch. So that being said, I'm going to take off everything above that. And I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff here. This again. A couple of big cuts. Let's 
so it looks weird and awkward and I don't like how that's going up like that. But the only point, the only thing that saved this tree from being completely taken off is the fact that with this being the front, with this here being the front, when this guy's pulled down, it sort of fills that dead space back there. But if you can imagine it without that, it would just be a big blank spot. Imagine this being pulled down here. So it sort of fills that spot, but I, I really don't like how close level wise it is with this branch. Don't like that. Not much I can do about it yet. We are going to add some guy wire to pull this down. I'm going to make a little cut right where I would like a branch, which is right about, I'm going to say there. So I'm just going to take my scissors here and go just like that. Now, that may or may not work. Like I said, sap might just fill it up and the tree might call it good or it might grow something there. I don't know. I'll let you know what I know. How about that? <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out together. Got a lot of just scraggly branches, which is not terrible. I will say that my overall vision for this tree is I, I'm just going for that, uh, you know, that overall old weathered tree in the forest that's been around for a thousand years, that, that kind of look. At least for now, that's what I've got in my mind. Take that part off there. Ugh, I just don't like this the way that it is. I don't know if I can live with that or not. After everything I just said about leaving it, filling that dead spot, still as I'm looking at it, I just don't know. I mean, it's just going the wrong direction. Tell you one thing I am going to do. I'm going to take off part of it. That helped a lot, I think. Slightly less awkward now. Still awkward, but slightly less awkward. Lots of it. Always doing this with the with the thought of seeing it from the front. So there it is. You're seeing it from the front now. I'm going to take off this downward growing branch. So, kind of a tedious process with these. I don't know if it's just because I don't work with them as much or what, but it seems like with maples and elms, the decision making process is a lot easier. You sort of just go through anywhere that there's two or more, you bring it down to two leaves or branches. And that's it. God, this one's a little different. It's not that type of tree. Gonna lose this downward growing branch here. This one's actually got some growth going in some of the right spots, so I'm gonna mess with that one as little as possible. Okay. So I'll grab some guy wire. So I do mine a little differently and um, you might think it's more work doing it this way and it probably is, <laughs> but I'll tell you my reasoning for doing it. So all I do is I take some of that the rubber coated wire and then I take some of the non rubber coated wire, link it together like so. Let's see how do we want this? We want this to be kind of like that. So I'm going to put the rubber coated part around the branch. Okay. And then from there, you just bend it down into whatever point it is that you're anchoring it to. Over there. There we go. I might have to bring it down more. I don't want the branch to bend like a rainbow. I just want it to go a little straighter, kind of like that, a little bit like that. I may have to stick something in the pot, 
kind of hold it in place like that. Like a chopstick or a shish kebab stick. If I just stab it right into the pot right there to kind of hold it in place. So I'll probably have to do that here. Just trying to find the right spot here real quick. Kind of like so. Wrap it around a couple times. Or however you like to anchor it down. Make the cut and then back. Just like that. So the reason I do that is uh, rather than just use this rubber coated stuff, you know, completely, because you can't see this as much. I mean, you can definitely see it if you're looking for it, but if you're not looking for it, it's harder to see than this. So it's a little, basically it's less ugly. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> it's just a little less ugly. And if I can make this just a little less ugly every day, I will have accomplished something. I may even want to do it right there too. Over time, it will actually kind of go up a little bit as the branch strengthens and grows like that. So it might even be okay with its position. I was initially thinking I needed to bring it out this way more, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm actually okay with it right there. Yeah. Also I'll point out, you can see how there's some wiggle room in there. So it's not super tight strangling the branch. Now, as to this guy here. Take that one off. Got two branches coming out of the same location there, as you can see, hopefully. So, hmm. These are the kind of things I struggle with because the bottom one, I don't like how this one's coming back at us but I do like how the branch splits into two. This one doesn't. Decisions, decisions. Well, I know that's not gonna work no matter what. So let's get rid of that. That should make the decision a little easier and it does. There we go. Anything coming straight back, don't want that. So we'll get rid of that. This one is sort of going down, but then it kind of comes back up and in. See how it looks if I just take like half of it off. Not bad, we'll leave it like that for now. What is this branch here? Two branches coming out of one spot. Gonna lose this one. Let's see. Let's look at it from the back side. So from the back side, you can see it comes out and then this one comes back in. Don't want that at all. So we're gonna get rid of that. Don't think we're gonna want that one. Another look at it there. Got two branches coming out of the same spot. We'll lose that one. It's going out pretty far, proportionally further than this one. So I'm thinking we're gonna lose this whole piece right there. That and those. I'll leave it like that for now. It's a little awkward, but it's gonna be awkward for a while. It's still in development, so still half kicking around taking this one down a little. I think I will. Down just like 
other. And awkward is okay. A lot of my trees are in awkward phases right now, and, and that's all right. Okay, let me grab some guy wires. We'll pull this one down and pull this one down a little, and then we'll work on the top. There we go. Got some more guy wires added to those other branches, so it's sort of spaced out better now. So let's go ahead and dive into the top and see what we can do there. I get less picky up top because it's the area that's most likely to you know, put on the most new growth. Although in this case, it actually put on the most death. <laughs> All this dead stuff back here. Let's see, we've got a few branches that are dead. Comple maybe not completely. Let's see, almost though. Let's clean some of that up. A lot of them died off completely. Again, I'm not real upset about it because it sort of adds a little bit to that overall weathered, seen a lot of stuff kind of look. I'm gonna hack away at this one a little bit more freely than I did down below. It's harder to fix mistakes on lower branches, I think, than it is on upper branches. Upper branches are supposed to be smaller and shorter and younger looking. So if you mess up on one, you have to replace it or redo it. It's not that big a deal. Happens quicker. All right, keeping in mind, this is the front. This keeps jumping out of me. I don't know yet if I want it or not. That's why I'm saving it. <laughs> Give us some of the stuff that's growing up. I, I would like to avoid guy wires up here as much as I can. Question is, I don't know if I'll be able to. So we'll try it with some directional pruning first. Branches that are already going in the direction we want and losing those that are not. I think that's a no for that guy. Still undecided here, but I'm leaning toward no. Ugh, we'll give it a little longer here before we make a full on decision. Down here, we got some stuff coming back at yeah. Going straight up, we get rid of that. Going straight up, get rid of that. This one going straight down, get rid of that. I'll say I've heard a lot of things about these dwarf Alberta spruces. I've heard some people say, oh, you don't want to work with those. They're, they're a nightmare to work with. Not because they're easy to kill, but because they're impossible to kill. Okay, I don't know what to make of that. But then the idea behind it being it just grows in all the wrong places. And now I get it. Now I get what they were talking about there. Some of this. That's a no. That's a no, that's a no. There you go. I think I don't want this one all together. So check this out. You can see how the trunk comes up and it splits into two right there. It, it has reverse taper, so it's going the opposite direction of what I want, which is regular taper. So I'm gonna lose this one all together. It doesn't have much to it anyway. And it's only contributing to a negative feature, so we're just going to lose it. Clean it up a 
up a little. And hopefully this cut will uh, kind of scar a little bit to add to that really old weathered look. That's the goal. So I'm seeing this as a problem. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose that whole thing. We don't want big thick branches up here anyways. At least not yet. Still a little much right there. I'll take it back to there. Let's have a look. No, I'm going to get rid of that. Well, do I want to? You know, for now, I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to live and let live on that. I can adjust it later if I want. Got some other stuff coming straight at us. Don't hate it, but don't love it. I think I will get rid of some of this. A lot of it. Now having a second look, I think I'm gonna take that down there. There, I, I do like that better. Got one going down here though. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. Now, as for this guy that's coming right at us, I think no. And unfortunately, here's where we kind of want it to start going up a little bit. Whereas we want the other branches to come out laterally. At this point, now we sort of want the opposite. We want it to start, to begin to go up as it reaches its peak. Got some big dead stuff here. Let's get rid of that. I'm dropping little assassin needles everywhere. It's a no for me, dog. Take it back a little. There we go. It's definitely starting to look better. Still needs cleaned up. I got to get all the dead needles out of here. And... But it's definitely looking better. I won't get too nitpicky up here at the top. But I will take off some of the obvious dead stuff. Backside's looking a little ugly. Take it back just a little. Some of this ugliness is, could also be due to just it being shaded out by all the dead stuff on there. So I'm trying to keep that in mind. Yeah, I'm not going to get real nitpicky up here. I'm not because old aged weathered trees look like this at the top. They got a lot of die back. And... Yeah. Cool. I'm going to leave some of these dead branches off uh, on. I mean, sorry. 
<laughs> I was thinking cut it off while I said leave it on. My brain betrayed me. So I'm going to leave a few of them up there. Get rid of a few, leave a few. <clears throat> All right. So here it is. I ended up taking off a lot more than I thought it was going to take off. But that's okay. I like the way it looks a lot better now. When it's left unchecked to just grow, it just turns into a bush or a, a bushy looking Christmas tree. So I like it a lot better now. So that's my dwarf Alberta spruce bonsai. Um, would love to hear any comments that you might have if you have experience with these because this is the only one that I've got and I'm sort of just figuring it out as I go. I try to read up on it and look for videos, but there's not as many of these as there are like Japanese maples and that kind of thing. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a process. So hope you liked it though. If so, click like and subscribe and uh, you'll see updates on this one and updates on others that I've done. And um, you can see some earlier videos that I did on this starting all the way back to when I bought it. Um, so yeah, appreciate everybody who does like and subscribe and uh, hope you have a good rest of your day.